And also a quarterback who's clearly under pressure. Oh, he's feeling it. Feeling that pressure. No doubt. He's under pressure. Come on. 0.0. 0. By the way, we talk about QBs under pressure. Like, why, are we always, why do we never say Baker or Sam well, Darnold I mean, or Daniel I, Jones? Don't you think that I if it doesn't work for one of them, they well, might be I, working with us That's true. this time well, next I mean, year? They, they might move on to a Trubisky spot currently, but yeah, we'll talk saying. to Joe Banner in a second. But I, I, I know what you're saying. The, the so idea, we, we say the, Dak Prescott. If the Dallas goes 6 in 11, bad. guess what? Dak is still going to be in the NFL next year. If the Giants go 2 and 14, Daniel Jones might be, you know, sitting next to Brockman this time next year. By the way, I, I, I would love that. That would be great. So that's pressure to me. That would be great if Daniel Jones was sitting next to you. I don't know what we would do with him. It's like he can't work the board, right? Yeah, I don't know. Jay, you feel a little nervous now? Yeah, Daniel Jones Jay, Jay, good job. Now, now, what's the what's the power rankings of audio executives under pressure on the Rich Eisen show? <laughs> but in all seriousness, um, I mean, TJ, just a no, I, I, I mean, have an answer just, for you. Yeah. I have an answer for you, having been around this yeah. NFL media block for some yeah, time. 20 years, right? The, the Well, coming up. Yeah, yeah see? Yeah. yeah. You know, if I can, if you know. make it to. Yeah, if I make it. <laughs> so, <laughs> the quarterback under pressure conversation the annual Mm -hmm. churning of that conversation the subtext of it includes the stakes of expectation okay okay every quarterback that's the most under pressure is expected to win and on top of it on a team that can win the super bowl that's the the subtext of course when you're talking about Justin Fields, he's under considerable pressure, right? Because he wants to improve. And if it doesn't happen from year one to year two, things can go a little sideways. Clearly, there's a significant amount of pressure for every young quarterback trying to perform in the league when they have a contract that they need to make a second time. Jared Goff is under significant pressure Mm -hmm. in Detroit. Because if he doesn't show it this year, they might move on to someone else. And then where does he go? But the Lions aren't expected to win it all. Thus, you don't see... Jared Goff on that list. That's why you see Dak. That's why you see Kyler. That's why you see Aaron Rodgers, even though I think that's ridiculous. Okay. That's why you see all of the quarterbacks who have a certain level of expectation. Those are the stakes. That's why you don't see quarterbacks like Daniel Jones on there, where his job is truly on the line. And the same thing with Baker and Sam Darnold. Their jobs is first tier, potentially on a path to first-tier quarterback status or their jobs as absolutely they're a starting quarterback in the NFL, that's on the line for those guys. And that will add pressure, but we're not talking about them because we don't think they'll win the Super Bowl. Does that make sense? It, that's why I messed with you, you, Rich Eisen. That was a solid breakdown. Of, uh, I of, think that of, had a lot of drip yeah. to it, actually. <laughs> Liquid. Actually, I have two buttons unbuttoned, so that's drip. Came through dripping.